Many of you are going to be so excited to hear this news. The Travel with Bradley Yellow Brick Road New Year's Eve Mystery Tour is back. I've been running this mystery tour for many years. A number of you loyal New Year's Eve passengers come every single time. This is always a sold out departure and I expect it will be once again. The dates of this departure are December the 27th, returning on January the 3rd. December the 27th is the day that we gather in Woodstock, Ontario at the Holiday Inn Express. You'll be able to leave your car there for the duration of this journey. And we will gather for a welcome dinner that evening when you'll get to meet your fellow passengers. Now, I can't give you many hints, of course, because this is a mystery journey. But I need to tell you a couple things. First of all, we will be traveling to the USA. So yes, you need your passport, a valid passport to get into the United States. Now, you may ask me, have you been to this destination before? I can't answer that, but I can tell you I have never offered this destination for New Year's Eve. It'll be the first time we've been to this destination for New Year's Eve. It'll be exciting. Let me tell you, you don't want to miss it. If you're interested, you can contact the team at Travel with Bradley. They'd be more than happy to get you booked in for New Year's Eve, a wonderful celebration. I hope you'll join me. Thank you so much. Travel with Bradley Yellow Brick Road mystery journeys have become extremely popular over the years. We have visited destinations all over the world, and some of you have never missed one of these mystery journeys. I'm very pleased to let you know that finally, I'm going to be offering a Canadian destination Yellow Brick Road mystery journey. We will gather on October the 10th at Toronto Pearson International Airport. That is correct there is a flight involved. You will fly home on October the 14th. So this is a shorter getaway that'll be filled with all kinds of excitement. As usual, if you would like to come to Toronto the evening before departure on October the 9th, we will provide you with hotel accommodations close to the airport, and that'll include parking for the duration of this journey. Now, what else can I tell you? You can expect some spectacular scenery, fall colors should be at their peak, and expect some toe-tapping music. This journey offers something for everyone, and I think you'll be so impressed with this region of Canada. If you would like to reserve, please contact the Travel with Bradley team and they'd be more than happy to look after you. Now you can ask them for more hints, but they're not going to be able to give you any. Like all mystery journeys, even the Travel with Bradley team doesn't know where you're going to be going. On October the 10th, when we gather at Toronto International Airport, the secret will be revealed and you will learn where you're traveling to. I sure hope you'll consider joining me. I highly recommend this journey. Thank you. I think that you would agree that we are so fortunate to be Canadian and live in such a beautiful country. There's so much to see in Canada and so many different cultures. There's one culture, though, that has been awarded 
as uh, being the top in one of the top 10 friendliest cultures in the entire world. So if you think about it for a second or two, you probably realize I'm talking about Newfoundland and its friendly locals. You can't beat them. You really, really can't. Some of the most genuine folks you will ever encounter anywhere on this earth. And I'm excited to be announcing another journey that's going to be heading to Newfoundland. This one goes August the 14th to the 23rd, 10 days. And for those of you that would like to come in the evening before travel on August the 13th, you know that Travel with Bradley provides you with uh, complimentary accommodations and uh, parking for your vehicle if you would like to do that. So this journey, I've been working on it for quite a while. I've heard from so many of you that have been saying, Bradley, when are you going to have the details? Finally, they're ready to share. Now, I'm not going to go through the day-by-day -day itinerary as I talked to you about Newfoundland, but I'll give you some, some highlights. First of all, I'm going to go back a number of years. Uh, when I started in the travel industry, I was not bringing groups to Newfoundland, but I would uh, run into a wonderful family who have become really good friends of mine, and their name is the McCarthys. And Mr. and Mrs. McCarthy, sort of the matriarchs of their travel organization, would come to Ontario and visit folks like me and uh, promote Newfoundland. They're so passionate about their province. And uh, years later, their son, Mark, got involved in the travel industry. And it is Mark who has basically taken over the company and I worked with Mark on this program, and I know you're really, really going to love it. So part of one of the uh, McCarthy's team will be your official host, and I can guarantee they will treat you just like family. And I will also be sending a very professional host uh, to travel with you from Toronto. So you'll be well looked after as you visit uh, Newfoundland. Now, one nice thing about this journey, it's an opportunity to see as much as possible of, of the province. And the best way to be able to do that is uh, to fly into Deer Lake and out of St. John's. That way you're flying into one coast, out the other coast, and it'll give you the best opportunity to see as much of the landscape and the beautiful scenery as as possible on this journey. So the Newfoundlanders have some really great uh, names for a lot of their towns. And I think that it shows that uh, they have a great sense of humor and that sort of fits into their wonderful personality. So you'll be visiting uh, not just uh, Deer Lake and St. John's. St. John's, I think it, it's really cool to see their uh, jelly bean houses, the uh, uh, painted, uh, all these bright colors, and which the reason for it is, of course, their winter season can be pretty gloomy. And seeing those bright colored houses uh, definitely adds some... Uh, uh, happiness to anyone when they see them, even on a gloomy day. But uh, uh, some of the best parts of uh, visiting uh, Newfoundland are the, the small rural communities, places like Twillingate, which that's one of my favorite destinations in Newfoundland. A lovely, lovely community. But uh, Bay Bowls, um, Cowhead, Woody Point, Bone Adventure, Gander. Everyone wants to go to Gander because of 9-11 and want to, uh, they know the story and uh, the wonderful people that live there that uh, housed folks from all over the world. And the Broadway musical Come From Away that has really put Gander on the map. Of course, you'll see Gross Morn National Park. You'll travel on the Viking Trail. There's so many wonderful things on this journey even you'll have the opportunity to do some whale watching. And you might not realize that uh, Newfoundland offers some of the best whale watching in the entire world. 
And I do agree with that statement. It's just not marketing from their tourist board. It is true. Now, when it comes to whales, you never know for sure. Um, you're not necessarily always 100% lucky, but uh, Newfoundland, when I've been out on whale watches in, in the past, it's not unusual for me to say that you feel like you can put your hand on the side of the boat and almost touch the whales. It's some of the best whale watching that I have seen anywhere. Of course, with Travel with Bradley, all your meals are included. And in Newfoundland, you can expect good, hearty, homemade meals. Nothing uh, extravagant, just really good home cooking. The, uh, the folks in Newfoundland, their tour season is very, very short. And uh, their winter is long. And they sort of learn to uh, entertain one another. I think to uh, let those dreary days go by quickly, um, they're wonderful storytellers. In fact, in a lot of communities, they'll be the storyteller or a couple of them. So if there's a community event, the storyteller will come and entertain folks and tell stories for the evening and the locals love it. Sort of reminds me of uh, stories that my grandparents used to say, tell me uh, when they were growing up and how they would get together with all the neighbors in the community in someone's house. They'd play a fiddle, guitar, someone would step dance and they'd get up and dance and they'd entertain uh, one another. And that those customs in Ontario aren't as strong as they used to be. But in Newfoundland, they're still very much the way of life. And I have a little um, prop that I'd like to show you um, that I brought back from Newfoundland on one of my journeys. And this is what they call a Newfie stick. And Newfie sticks come in handy when they have their kitchen parties. And if you're not necessarily an entertainer, not a singer, not a step dancer, not a guitar player, but you want to get involved with the action, you make a Newfie stick and bring it and you can make all kinds of racket. You'll see there's a stick there and you can take that off and hit the um, big portion of the stick. And you can be uh, one of the entertainers along with all your uh, other neighbors. So this uh, Newfie stick was actually used uh, for quite a long time and entertained uh, folks in Newfoundland. So I was glad that I was able to get a hold of it and uh, bring it home. It sits in my music room and every time I see it, it puts a big smile on my face and reminds me of the wonderful folks uh, in Newfoundland. So it's not unusual. You know, you could be in a small community and uh, walk into the variety store and there could be some locals that have their instruments out uh, performing in a corner and uh, basically entertaining themselves. But it's a bonus if you are a visitor to uh, take in the excitement. It's been a rough couple of years for the tourism industry from around the world, but here in Canada, they really felt felt it in uh, Newfoundland. A lot of the small communities, they rely on the tourists um, to come in and um, bring some uh, extra money that helps them get through uh, the rest of the year. You'll quite often find on the end of uh, folks' laneways, they'll maybe set up a card table and the lady of the household will have a number of her preserves out there. I'm always the first one to try to grab the a partridge berry jam, which is something a little unique that we don't have here in Ontario. So I can bring it home for myself and uh, makes really great gifts. Or the gentleman of the household might make some wood products. One time I brought this uh, wooden train set uh, uh, home and um, I have that on display. So they make their crabs crafts um, and their different um, preserves and their baking and uh, 
whatever that they can sell to make some extra money. And uh, so, you know, not only did uh, the locals help all those folks at 9-11, when you think about it, it wasn't too many months ago that here in Ontario, we had a shortage of doctors and nurses. And the first ones to come and help us were doctors and nurses from Newfoundland. So wonderful, wonderful people. And you will cherish um, your visits with a lot of these, these folks you'll meet along the way. Another nice advantage with this journey is you're not, even though you are traveling a fair bit, um, of course, to get from one side of the island to the other, um, it's been arranged that uh, most nights you have uh, two, a two night stay in different destinations and you all hub and spoke from there. So it's not like you're moving hotels every day. And at the very end, you do have three nights in St. John's. St. John's is a great place to explore and you will have a little bit of free time one afternoon to actually do that. The main street is wonderful. A lot of uh, privately run coffee shops, uh, little pubs, and quite often you'll have entertainment, um, craft uh, stores. Um, of course, everything is to, pr to promote Newfoundland. And just uh, very uh, sort of trendy, unique, uh, unique spot there. So this is your opportunity if you've been waiting uh, to visit Newfoundland. Uh, they're certainly waiting for you. And uh, the crew from McCarthy's, as I said, will treat you like family. And you're in the best hands you could ever be in uh, when, uh, when they're looking after you. And I, I highly endorse this program. I've been working on it for a number of months to uh, make sure it uh, has a number of my favorite things um, when it comes to Newfoundland included. And I think you'll really have a great time if you decide to uh, travel on this journey. So contact uh, the staff, uh, the Travel with uh, Bradley team, and they'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And um, uh, hopefully you'll consider that uh, this is the summer that you should visit the rock. And just as another reminder, this journey goes August the 14th to the 23rd. So thank you very much.